now you see the chapter determiners i have taught you earlier this chapter but again i have made some easy notes for you so you see here definition of determiners determiners are the words that comes at the beginning of the noun so it introduces a noun they determines noun that is whether a noun is specific or general means determiners tell you about the noun that the noun is specific or a general noun now you see its kind determiners are basically divided into six types so you can remove this word basically determiners are divided into six types number 1 is articles second word is demonstratives third type is possessives fourth quantifiers and fifth is interrogatives and sixth is ordinals okay now i am going to explain all types one by one so number one type is articles i have taught you articles articles determines which noun the speaker is referring to means suppose i am the speaker so if i am telling i am talking about any noun so how can you know that it is a general version of noun or it is the specific version of noun so by the articles you can recognize this indefinite articles included a and an so a and an is used before general version of noun for example you can see here a book is man's best friend means here i am talking about all the books in a general way i am talking all the books i am not taking the name of any specific book i am talking the general version of book so here indefinite article a will be used and you see the uh, second article that is the the comes in definite article uh, definite article is used with a specific version of noun now you see the example of definite article the bhagavad gita is one of the holy book books of hinduism so i am talking i have given you the specific name of book that is bhagavad gita so i have used here definite article the before bhagavad gita so it is a specific version of book specific noun so before specific noun i will used the definite article the clear now you see the second determiner that is demonstratives i have taught you demonstrate uh, demonstratives are used to point out something to show you something that is this that these those they are the demonstrative pronoun you can say so demonstrative pronouns are also used as determiners for example you can say they are used to point something specific within a sentence they focus attention on the nouns that they are replacing means they will focus the uh, your attention on the nouns that they are replacing means at which place they are coming so you can see here the example i want to eat these apples so here apples which are the specific noun specific noun i am telling just because here the name of the fruit is given so i want to eat these apples means i am demonstrating you the apples which are kept in front of me these apples so i have pointed out here the apples which apples these apples so these are used here as a demonstrative determiner clear now see the third possessives possessives i have told you possessives 
show the belongings so these words are used as possessives my your his her their our possessive pronouns are used to show ownership to show possession i have taught you this thing she is my best friend so my word is showing the possession she is my friend means friend is belonging to me so it my is the possessive determiner as possessive determiners uh, determines the ownership of noun ownership of the noun they come in the category of determiners why they comes in the category of determiners because as possessives determines the ownership of the noun they show the ownership of noun so just because of that they come in the category of determiners now number 4 Determ uh, determiner is quantifiers quantifiers means which tells about the quantity so the words here some few a few little much more any these are the quantifiers they indicate how much or how little of the noun is being used means they will indicate the amount they will indicate the quantity of any noun so you can see here example few children and uh, i have taught you last year also but here in this year all the words are given in uh, few a few little a little they all are given in the same column that you can say here it is in they are used here you see indicate quantity or amount positively but i want to clear you one thing here if you will see some and any means a certain number or quantity some and any means a certain number or quantity they can be used with both means some and any determiner can be used with countable nouns and uncountable nouns clear but if you will see little a little the little they denote the quantity and are used before uncountable nouns uncountable nouns means to whom you cannot count so they will tell you the quantity of anything any noun now you see second thing in the same quantifiers few a few the few denote number and are used before countables in the plural number they denote few a few the few denote number and are used before countables in the plural number where we will use little or few that will come in negative sense negative sense means if we are not using before little a or before few a a few a little if i am not using so only little and few will come in negative sense you can easily understand this thing a little and a few will show the positive side example with the example you can easily understand this thing little means not much or you can say hardly any there are little hope for the patient means hardly any hope means you can say the patient have has not any hope for uh, life so here the little is uh, used as a negative sense now you see a little a little signifies quantity of an uncountable noun a little knowledge is a dangerous thing 
a little knowledge means you have knowledge but in a very little amount so a little knowledge is a dangerous thing so here a little is used for the knowledge and it shows some positive thing positive thing in the sense of quantity ki little se thoda sa jyada hai a little now you see the last one the little the little signifies whole quantity which is definite and specific now you see with the example you can easily understand the little rice that the shopkeeper showed me was of inferior quality the little rice means rice is in little quantity but it is definite and specific in the sense of quantity so the little rice that the shopkeeper showed me was of inferior quality now you come on the few and difference between few and a few few means not many almost none example there are few takers for the new car means almost no takers for the new car there are few takers for the new car almost no takers yahan few ka use hua hai in a negative sense so you can say almost no takers for the new car but where we will use a few it means it shows at least some do not many do not many yadyap ki bahut adhik nahi at least some so you can see here with the example a few students are absent from the class a few students are absent from the class means not every student but a few students are absent from the class so it is used in a positive sense now you see the next determiner that is interrogative interrogatives what which whose these are the interrogatives determiners they are used to ask specific questions they can be used before any kind of noun so it is uh, the best way to understand that it is the de uh, determiner or it is the interrogative verb what is the difference between interrogative verb or interrogative determiner interrogatives will be interrogative but when it will come just before the noun suppose i have given you cleverness so uh, whose comes just before the noun so it will be uh, included in the interrogatives determiner what time means i just want to say you have uh, studied in the tenses after the question word always comes verb so here the verb helping verb is not given here it is given the noun just after the question word so it is the determiner okay so they are used to ask specific questions they can be used before any kind of noun any kind of noun means uh, you can say here uh, it can be singular noun or plural plural noun or it can be abstract noun or common noun whose cleverness what time clear now you come on the last determiner that is ordinals ordinals they are you can see here first second next last previous means it will not show you the number it will refer the sequence or the order of noun means at which number at in which order the noun is coming suppose here the examples are given last page last page of the book so the last is showing the uh, order of the noun that is page second table he sat 
on the second table so second is the ordinal determiner clear to all if you have any doubt you can ask me in query time okay i but i hope that you all uh, have understood this chapter thank you